Yo, what's going on guys? I am Joe Alvarez and I'm happy, happy, happy today. Got a special treat. We got something in the box. I don't know why I keep looking at the screen. I'm supposed to be looking over here. We have a special treat. We got a bad, bad puppy in the box. Finally, after eight weeks of contemplating, researching, researching, finally did it. I got it. I got this bad girl. The Fireface UFX3. Did I go overboard? Probably a little bit. Probably didn't need so many in and outputs, but I decided to future-proof myself with an RME that lasts forever. They update the drivers. I think they still upgrade the drivers from like 2008. Anyway, without further ado, let's open this bad puppy and see what's in the box. And let's hook it up and then let's see how it sounds. So let me put this bad girl down. Put it right over here. Move this out of the way. Now I got my trusty dusty knife and gonna open this bad girl up really slowly. You know what? I'm gonna put it on my lap. Cool, so let's open it up. See what happens. Need my knife. Got some nice foam, well, nice bubble wrap from Sweetwater. I'll give that to my uh, my kid, let him pop that. He'll have fun with that. Yeah. Let's take her out of the box. Look at that brand new, beautiful thing. But first, we have to have some candy from Sweetwater. So without further ado, I'm just gonna have a piece of candy because that's my favorite part about ordering from Sweetwater. Not only do they have everything you possibly need, they give you candy. They actually wrap it up now though. I remember back in the day, 2006 was the first order I had from these guys. They would just throw it in the box and sprinkle it there and that was super cool. Anyway, let's open up the mint and let's open the box. All right. Take the knife back out, do some slow cuts, keep this bad boy in good shape just in case. Whew, so pretty, so pretty. Nice big box, it has some good weight to it. It's about, I think it's at least 10 plus pounds. Feels nice and sturdy in the box. Nothing's really moving in there. Put it down over here. Moment of truth, you guys are ready? Let's open it. Cool, so we have a nice thick manual, nice thick user guide. Seems like it's two separate languages for the user guide, English, and then another language on the side, but it's pretty thick and it's pretty heavy. Put that over there. Nice, nice and packed really well. Some good styro, styrofoam or not sure what they call this stuff. Got a big mess right over here, but no one got to see that. Everything looks nice, nice and fresh, no scratches, no dents. Everything looks real awesome. Got the nice plastic. Nice, they cover the Maddie with a nice little plug just so you don't mess that up. Man, she is beautiful. I needed her. I needed this thing. No scratches, no blemishes. We're gonna talk about all the specs in a second, but right now, you just gotta give me a little time to look at her. I'm gonna look deep into her four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. She has eight inputs in the front, including the MIDI. Damn, she even smells good too. But let's put her right over here for now and let's see what else is in the box. So cool, you have a USB 3 connectivity. Nice solid, feels nice quality wire from Digitus. That's it. And we have a nice digital wire here to connect to Spitif. Then we have what it looks like. The power plugs. So you have two separate power supplies, power plugs, depending on where you are in the world. Super cool. Look like that. And then you have a USB 3.2 generation one by one cable 
double shielded looks about two meters nice Whew, that's it I don't know about you but every now and then when I get a new piece of gear I get this excitement I don't think I have gas which is gear acquisition syndrome I used to have that but I've come a long way to fight that I really really contemplated on a new audio interface for a long time to upgrade for my Apple G Elements 24 which was kind of long in the tooth and the core audio drivers were starting to get a little funky but I love that feeling it opened up a new box new gear especially a high-end gear like this so cool now that we got all that out the box I'm gonna hook that up in a second but first let's talk about the specs and let's talk about why I decided to get this bad boy so the first thing is I decided to get this interface particularly I plan on upgrading and expanding over time and the next best unit that just came out that's very reliable being that RME makes their own drivers and they update their drivers for like 15 plus years so I couldn't go wrong with that after all the research I did I decided this was the best piece it had the expandability it has the reputation from a really great company and the audio quality is superb up there with some of the best audio interfaces in that price range so now let's take a look at the specs really quick and then we're gonna hook this bad boy up and then look at the total mix effects that it comes with and is world renowned in regards to the type of routing that you can do within this interface cool so we have the fireface ufx3 it is 188 channel 24 bit 192 killer 192k high-end usb3 audio interface i know a lot of people say why usb why usb they have some of the most consistent updated best drivers in the market and usb right now for them they have so solid and tight that why risk going to Thunderbolt risk all the same issues that we know that Thunderbolt has when you connect your audio interface at least at this stage so I don't personally mind that it's a USB 3 it works it sounds great that's all I care about now let's look at a little bit of the details so we have a multi-channel flagship interface that comes with 94 channels in and out with ease you have the inclusion of the DU Rex direct USB recording. RME is famous for their low latency hardware and their driver design guarantee flawless operation in any mode and application. It's packed with Steady Clock FS, MADI in and out, 64 channels, a powerful DSP, which I love because their effects, DSP driven effects, are free. You can just engage a compressor or an EQ on every insert you can monitor it or you can actually record that into your DAW and then you can use your delays and your reverbs on a send track so why not that's the best of both worlds and of course you have your USB 3.0 full 94 channel in and out class compliant ready you have the famous total mix effects direct USB recording and supports advanced remote control USB available separately so you know what enough of the long talk let's set this bad boy up and let's see what it sounds like cool so now that i have everything installed this is what it looks like however when i installed the total mix fx i changed it from operational mode right so you come up here to options operational mode and i changed it to digital audio workstation mode straight playback routing no input mix so what that allows you to see is just all the ins and outs on the physical box and not any extra ADATs or anything like that that's connected to the actual audio interface so it's much easier to look at because if you don't choose that option there's literally a bazillion ins outs all types of settings you can change here i just want to make it look simple make it look what i'm looking at from my daw side and right now i have no connectivity so pretty straight 
interface in that regard you have a ton of different options to route and the actual full function mode but in this case just want to look at what this looks like it's pretty simple if you used a virtual mixer before or a mixer before it's pretty simple uh, to use you have your hardware outputs your control rooms and then all your inputs on the top right now my mic is defaulted to mic 9 I have a little phantom power on turn it on with some gain it looks really nice but the true test is I want to hear what this bad boy sounds like. I did a mix earlier on the Apple G Element 24 just to get a comparison of what it sounded like earlier to what it's about to sound like now. So let me play this bad boy and let's get blown away because I know there's going to be a major difference. So let's check it out. insane difference right off the bat i can hear the low end sounds way more warm way more punchier way more defined i can see some of the mixing mistakes i've made from using the apple g element 24 which of course you know apple g elements 24 is a great but it still is very much on the consumer side you can get some great mixes out of it but you're not going to get that real professional polished warm sound and that high crispiness that you get with a professional audio interface. Right off the bat, the stereo field to me sounds much wider. These speakers have never sounded that good. I can hear the little details in those samples that I use that I wasn't hearing before. And now that I'm listening to it again on this interface, I can see that that sample sounds a little bit out of tune or too detuned. So I'm picking up a lot more detail. Again, the stereo field sounds much more separated. The high sound where they belong, the low sound really nice. The mid sound nice and crispy. You can hear the separation. It's definitely a much more 3D sound compared to the consumer version of the Apple G Element 24 that I have for years. I learned how to use it and manipulate it and get the best out of it, but I am looking forward to really, really taking this bad boy to the next level.